Good morning, church. You may be seated. Thank you. There's so much blessing around. And I'm here to receive my own portion. You know, what is good needs prayer. And what is a little needs prayer. And what is bad also needs prayer. So I'm here to receive my own portion. In Jesus' name. Amen. You know, you are what you do, not what you say. You have saying Jesus is Lord, Jesus is dead in time of confession. But the Bible says you are what you do, not what you are. So this show you have to mash your action with what? With your words. That's knowing fact about Jesus. Jesus is Lord, Jesus is dead, Jesus is that. Does not change our relationship with him. Tell your neighbor, match your action with what? I can hear you. So all what you have been confessing, Jesus is my Lord, I will forgive my neighbor, I will do this, I will do that. You have to match it with your action. When you get home, right from here, you begin to prepare your way. If there's anything you know you have been doing in the past, before now, it is time now to change. This is it. You are what you do, not what you say. Tell your neighbor. I can hear you. So please, please, it's very, very important. So now, what are you taking home? to maintain your holiness. But right now, we, we are S. Lusa. Right now, tell your neighbor, you are S. Lusa. Say right now, I'm S. Lusa. What are you taking home to maintain your, your life, Christ's life, your holiness? Because you need to maintain what you have received now. Because you know, immediately you live here, it's a different thing. You meet a lot of friends, those who divide, those who subtract, a lot of friends. You know, you cannot succeed alone. You need good people. So right now, what are you taking home to maintain what you have received? Just think about it. Maintainer is very important. Ask yourself, what am I taking home? Or what I've been seeing to maintain the life I have received today? Because you have received a new life. New life. Life without affliction. A new life. Life without failure. A new life. Life without rejection. A new life. Life without hatred. A new life, life without tribulation. As you say, what am I taking home to maintain this life? That is a question now. I'm seeing new people, a new beginning, everyone. But the question remains, how will you maintain this life? You have been very quiet. You know, the kind of life we live. We have friends over there, people out there. So this is what we should be thinking about. Right now, the Bible made us to understand about genuine humility. Genuine humility before honor is humility. Before what? Before honor, humility. Humility. We don't have enough time to talk about the humility. Humility is not to put on rag. It's not to good money, sir begin to greet everyone. This is the kind of what we display. No. Before honor, humility. Unless we are humble, we will not bow to Jesus. Tell your neighbor, unless you are humble, you will not bow to Jesus. I can hear you. 
Tell your neighbor, tell your neighbor. Unless you are humble, you will not bow to Jesus. Say, oh, I don't, I'm very humble. That is why I'm in the church. That is not the kind of humility we are talking about. That's the kind of humility we are, humility we are talking about. Humility will not do, we will not hear or say without question. We will not do something without question. Ah, what is this? How will I do it? He will ask Jesus. Because Jesus is all the world to us. Jesus is what? All the world to us. Tell your neighbor, Jesus is all the world to me. I can hear you. I can hear you. Again. That means you don't have any other life. You want to sit down, you ask Jesus, how will I sit down? You want to talk, you ask Jesus, shall I talk? You want to look, you ask Jesus, shall I look? Will I greet? You want to dress up, you ask Jesus. Then you know how much you need him. It's all the war to me. My life, my joy, my all. Tell your neighbor, my life, my joy, my all. I can hear you. Again and again. Jesus is all the world to me. What that means to you? You want to look? Jesus. You want to sit? Jesus. You want to greet? Before you greet? Jesus. You want to comb your hair? Jesus. You want to eat? Jesus. So to maintain the life you have received today, I'm just telling you how you can maintain it. This is the procedure. Jesus must be all the world to you. He is our strength from day to day. He is my strength from what? Your? Say to your neighbor. Jesus is my strength from day to day. Look, I want to move. Jesus. Another leg. Jesus. Back again. Jesus. Tell your neighbor again. Jesus is my strength from day to day. Man, you don't have any other strength. Me, the life you are living is not yours. Oh, how I love Jesus. Oh, I love Jesus. Oh. Listen to that. Listen to that. It went for you. What manner of man is Jesus? So to maintain the life you have received now, this is a new beginning. It must be your strength from day to day. Jesus. Jesus must be your strength to maintain what you have received. 
now. Are you thinking about that? For you to know you have not been maintained that life. You can sit on your own. You don't sit down. You don't rely on him. You just talk. You just talk. Come here. Before you say that, Jesus, come here. He will guide you. Because it's an independent mind. So I want to pray with you now. Remember, you have received it all. I'm only just coming here to encourage you and to make sure no one live here without being transformed. Rise up for prayer. Regardless of what you are going through, take note of that. Regardless of what? Say, regardless of what I'm going through. In the natural. Yes. You can be having a headache now, but above, over there, the headache is gone. Take note of that. I want you to understand before I offer my prayer to you. You must know this. Regardless of what you are going through in the natural, me, you can be in trouble now, not in the natural, but over there, above, <laughs> there is no trouble. Say, I'm, I'm, I don't know why this has happened to me. But you don't know whether what has happened to you is, is still happened to you in the spirit. If it, what has happened to you now is it, not happened to you, it's not happening in the spirit, definitely you are blaspheming. Someone is working out the answer. What, what God is working out for you now. Regardless of what you are going through in the natural it may be painful in the natural. It may be rough in the natural. Take note of that. It may be rough in the natural. Jesus said, the way out for you has come. Amen. Are you taking my word? Yeah. Jesus says, the way out for you has come. Amen. La solución ha llegado. By the time you live here, you live here today or tomorrow or any other day, you say yes. You send me email that you have said it to me, Joshua. Yeah. Why can't you begin to rejoice? Yes. Yes. You have been trained to play a football, but you have not played the football, but we are now telling you this is the outcome of the game, that you are a winner. The way out for you, I want you to finish the words. La solución ha llegado. The way out for your business, the way out for your head. The way out for your marriage. Your career. What is it if I'm telling you? If you are praying to God that the Lord, please, this man, the man promised to, 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 to loan me millions of dollars and you pray that the Lord should touch his heart and you have been praying there, been praying this morning. Would the man come to inside the church and give you the loan? No. And I'm telling you now that when you get home, the man is waiting to give you a loan. <laughs> so, so that is just a picture of what I'm printing. 
concerning your head, that pain, you feel that pain. I'm telling you, you are telling me something in the natural, and I'm telling you something in the spirit. I can see God's deliverance Amen. touching you. Amen. I can see God's deliverance touching you. I can see God's deliverance touching you. I can see God delivering touching your finances. I can see God delivering touching your finances. I can see God delivering touching your finances. In the name of Jesus. You know, I'm not coming here to pray. I'm here to prophesy. Yes. What I have seen in the spirit is what I'm telling you now. Ce que je vois dans l'esprit, ce que je veux vous dire maintenant, je suis pas ici pour prier, mais pour prophétiser sur votre vie. He venido aquí no a orar, sino a profetizar. Tell your neighbor, be patient and wait Se paciente y espera. for the physical manifestation. Now! Por la manifestación física ahora. Take note of now. I'm not saying just be patient, wait for the physical manifestation. Now. Ahora. Soyez patient et attendez la manifestation physique maintenant. You know, this year, 1st January, the Lord said, go to the mountain, meet me somewhere. I say, which mountain? The Lord said, a quiet place, a place where when I'm praying, I will not be able to close my eyes because of fear. Tiger can come this way. Lion may come this way. Python may come this way. Inside the thick forest. Ah, so where I will not be able to close my eyes. You know, you yourself, it's your idea and culture when you want to pray. You know, <laughs> if I carry it to where I went to last January, uh, even you will not want to pray louder because you don't know what is coming out. <laughs> when I got there, the second day, the Lord said to me, this year is very fearful. This year is very fearful year. I'm bringing you here to pray for your nation and for the whole world at large and for your people. How will I offer the prayer? Stay here for two, three days. I'll give you a word to say. I'm just telling you what is in the spirit. If care is not taken, you are not taking care, proper care. It may hang for years. You know many are here that are not supposed to be a follower, are supposed to be a leader and their leadership has been released in the spirit, but yet they are still followers. Something can be hung for many years in the spirit, which is no longer in the hands of God. God will release. Okay, this thing is for Mr. T.B. Joshua. And it will continue rolling and rolling and rolling in the spirit there. And yet for years, T.B. Joshua is not yet received it. And then you will continue to pray, God, give me bread, give me bread. And you, whereas that bread has been released over there. But the bread you are supposed to receive instantly is, is just there. Because of what you do is different from what you say. So the thing will just be there. Sometimes when I see people on the street and I look at them, I say, ah, this man is not supposed to be on the street. It's supposed to be in the palace. I said, ah, this man's supposed to be in the palace, but it's on the street. Sometimes I see people lamenting, crying. When I look at the person that is crying and lamenting, this is a crown. 
a crown, somebody who's supposed to wear a crown, one of the best men in the world is now on the street, one of the worst men in the world. But on the last day, you will now find that, uh, ah, this is life I live, this is life God designed for me. Tell your neighbor, I am what I do, not what I say. I can hear you. I am what I do, not what I say. Mash your action with your word. That is why we will say, in Jesus' name, we are talking to the air. If you are what you say, anytime you say in Jesus' name, Jesus will, will, will come to the scene. But many times you say Jesus' name. No, Jesus is not coming to the scene. Because you are what you do. Think about that. Mm. Knowing fact about Jesus does not change your relationship with him. Tell your neighbor, knowing fact about Jesus does not change my relationship with Jesus. No! Listen to me. I can see God's deliverance touching you. Touching your life. Touching your life. Touching your, life. Touching your career. Touching your life, your career. Somebody touch me. Somebody touch me. Somebody touch my soul. While I was praying, pray to my Father. Somebody touch my soul. Body touch me. Somebody touch me. Somebody touch me. Somebody touch me. Somebody touch my soul. While I was praying. While I was praying. Praying to my father. Be Jesus, it must be Jesus, Jesus Christ, my soul. While I was praying, while I was praying, praying to my. I can see God's healing touching you in the name of Jesus. I'm telling you what I'm seeing in the spirit. Allow it to happen. Allow it to happen. Allow it to happen. I can see God's healing touching your life. Touching your life. Allow it to happen. Allow it to happen. Permite que suceda. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Tell your neighbor, be patient. Sé paciente. And wait for the physical manifestation. Sois patient et attends la manifestation physique. Now. In the name of Jesus. 
Se paciente y espera con la manifestación física. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Recant again, recant again, recant again. I can see God's deliverance touching your life. I recant again, I recant again. I can see God's deliverance touching your business. I recant again, I recant again. I can see God's deliverance touching your marriage. In the name of Jesus, the way out for you has come. I can hear you. 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 Say to yourself, the way out for me has come. I can hear you. The way out for your career. The way out for my career has come. The way out for my business has come. The way out for my good health has come. The way out for my marriage has come in Jesus name rejoice rejoice this is my message to you if you allow it to happen you have a role to play now you have a role to play if you allow it to happen Yes, you should allow it to happen. Don't forget. Don't forget. Don't have an unforgiving spirit. Don't have all grudges. No guardas offenses. Holding offense. Grieve the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. Gracias, Señor. Lift up your voice and let us pray for your nation. Whatever you have as a contact, okay? Contact point. Let us pray for your nation, your nation, your nation, your nation. God intervention, prayer. God intervention. God intervention. God intervention. God intervention. God intervention. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. I can hear you. I can hear you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Let us pray for nations that are not at peace because of war. Crisis, what, what, wherever that nation is, all over the world, please send your prayer of peace. Lift up your voice and pray. Ask God to reign the, the reign of peace, reign of harmony to what nation, wherever that is, south, north continent, south continent. Pídele a Dios que llueva paz, armonía en su nación. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let us pray for you, for your journey. Journey of righteousness is not yet over. You need to live the rest of your life to maintain your holiness. Jesus will come like a thief in the night. No one knows when and how. So therefore, you have to be alert. Be conscious. Conscious. Be conscious of what you do, what you say. Ah, am I saying what God wants me to say? Am I doing what God wants me to do? Don't go where Jesus is not invited. Please be conscious of what you do, what you say. So prayer, prayer. Ask God to strengthen you. Ask for the grace, the grace of God to cover you. Grace of God from time to time. Strength from him from day to day. The strength from day to day, 
In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. I can hear you. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. God intervention. Right now, I pray you become God's channel to, from today. Amen. Channel of light Amen. where there's darkness. Channel of love, where there's hate. Channel of faithfulness, where there's unfaithfulness. Channel of obedience, where there's disobedience. Channel of humility, where there's pride. In Jesus Christ's name. I can hear you. So thank you, Lord.